Okay, uh, now that we completed part one, now we're on coding adventure challenge part two. And this starts with challenge number 76. And in 76 here, as you guys can see, it says we need to collect wood to rebuild the bridge. Looks like we'll need to cooperate with UGG rats. So let's see what we got going on here first. So this first thing here, uh, what you're gonna notice, uh, we need our rat to collect the matchstick and then bring it to the pile. So when we run what they've given us, you guys can see that he doesn't really go far enough. So what we need to do here, we need to make some changes here. So what you guys can see is a step distance to match. So our new character is our rat. He's grabbing, so you guys can see how we're uh, writing the grab, and then he's stepping three. So obviously this is going to be the part that needs change here on step three. So um, he's gonna need to go from here, from the match to the piles. So let's see how far we're going there. And it looks like it's about 12. So let's change this from uh, three to 12. And now let's ru uh, run this here again. Here we go, drops it, and now that's it. So, again, that was a pretty simple one to get us started, but you guys can see that function here. Um, pretty easy, but again, to just increase our steps. All right, how about uh, number 77? It says we need more. So, again, what I try to teach everybody is uh, run the code that they've given us. That's part of the problem-solving process, and which is probably the most important important part of these challenges uh, that we have here. So you guys can see what we have here. We have turn to match. So what you're gonna see here, the rat's gonna turn to this match up here. He's gonna step the distance to the bush. So he's only gonna go from here to here. We obviously know we need a little bit further. So we're gonna have him step up to that match. And that's the first change that we're gonna make. There we go. He's then gonna grab the match up here on row four. Then he's going to turn to the pile, which here is our pile, and he's going to step the distance to the pile. So let's see if this works. There we go. Turns to the pile, drops it, and pretty easy. So what we're going to need to do here, we're going to need to make one more change. We're going to need him to drop. Just like we used a, a pure function to grab it, we're going to need it. Uh, we're going to need that rat to drop the match now. So I'm going to say drop, and no, it's good. I'll leave our parentheses in there. So let's run this one more time. And there you go, he drops it, and that should complete it. Alrighty. Next thing here, we got number 78 now. It says collect all the things. So obviously we're going to have a few more. So we have multiple matches now. And as you can see, remember, these are notes. Whenever you see that hashtag up there, it says, by the way, this is a comment line, as you can see. And again, another one, it says it starts with a hashtag sign like this. So what we have right now, we have a for loop. It says four M and matches. Okay, you can see it. We have three of them. It says turn to M. So the rat's going to turn to M. It's going to step the distance to M. <clears throat> it's then going to grab a match. And then what we're going to need to do, we're going to need him to turn to that pile and then drop the match in a pile. So let's have him turn to the pile, turn to pile. And then we're going to have him step the distance to the pile. And then we're going to obviously need him to drop the match. There we go. So let's give this a run here. There's match zero. Drops it on the pile, comes back up for match one. Brings it down, drops it on the pile, and then obviously match two. So there you go. So that should be a um, pretty easy challenge there for you guys. And hopefully this makes sense. Again, that is challenge 76, 77, and 78. Best of luck.